Hey Albert. Sorry, I'm a bit late. Tonight lecture went over time. What's up, John? Did you take a look at our code? I could only redo the first half before my class, but the TA told me I was on the right track. No, I don't think your way was working. Wait, uh, Hello. What do you mean? My name is Claude Tien, and I am the creative director of this project, Breathless. Breathless is an interactive narrative walking simulation experience about the invisible life struggle of a Chinese international student. The player plays as John Doe to experience and observe the onset of his first depression and the struggle to get his life back from his mental downfall. This experience is an unusual project. You may notice that it has limited interactivity and freedom while the story seems to be less fun or entertaining while being a bit heavy on emotional loads. While this is by design and it has a specific why behind it, and I would like to talk to you about the why. The purpose of this project is to tell a mundane story of a Chinese international student, where my own background comes from. During my seven years of life as a student here abroad, I noticed something in the media works. Very occasionally, I hear the news about someone with the same background winning an award, and that is very exciting. But what I hear more often are the unfortunate obituaries. There are rarely stories about what's in between, about our daily lives. I read a theory about media before that if I can't see people like me on screen or media works in general, then I must be unimportant, then I must be forgotten. And that's how I felt when I had the realization I just mentioned. I wanted to make a change, so I created the project and wrote this story. <laughs> how fitting. are on. I wonder why they're here. In addition to my intention to increase exposure, I also wanted to send a message to my community about dealing with mental health issues. In our time here away from home, we grew into a culture that is totally different from and sometimes conflicting with our original ones. Sometimes it's a good thing to help us gain perspective but it can also brew into pressure so subtle that we don't even realize. When that combines with daily academic pressure, it's very easy for us to become depressed, and sometimes even further into depression. Growing up back home in China, I know that we don't have an established mental health education system, and so asking for professional mental health help is still something unfamiliar weird and even scary for many of us. It is something that we just don't immediately think about doing and has a lot of hesitation when suggested doing so. Also when this happens, especially for the first time, it's hard to tell anyone, either because of the nature of depression or of the lack of language and practice to say out loud, even to our friends and loved ones. Get away from me. Get away from me. I don't want to hear this. Please. Please stop. So, the message I want to send to my community is that it is okay to have depressive feelings. There are people just like you who have had it before and can understand what you are going through. So, you are never alone. It is also never a shame to talk about your feelings to people who care about you. And last but not least, asking for help is absolutely necessary and normal, especially from mental health professionals. It takes time and courage to get out of the shell of depression. I believe hearing someone else's story and seeing them getting help can help one who's currently going through the struggle to gain more courage and motivation to do the same. And these are the two reasons that founded my motivation to create this project. I hope I can help people in my community to start having conversations about themselves and about how we can support each other, knowing there are people who need help in their darkest hours. Uncle, can I? Who 
動けたくない。俺に一体何が起きたの？私手を取るわ。眠い。Where are the fish? 也是这般了无生气的。那得意。Come on, let's go back to sleep. No more dreams this time, please. 夏克林。That door looks inviting. 何が嫌な感じがある。My old classroom again. Can't shake this feeling. 走到是记忆中那样的 narrow. Fitting the room for thirty-eight little souls. What did they say again? Trips down the memory lane, huh? I thought I burnt it. How the fuck? Yummy day. Looky here, everyone. Looky here. A love letter from John. Jason. Dear Mrs. Lang, please don't tell anyone, but I, a whiny eleven-year-old, want to share a secret with you. I have fallen deeply in love in a way no one could ever understand with Kathy. We have been practicing tracking together after school, and I feel like we are soulmates. Mrs. Lang, could you please protect this secret for me? I need to. <laughs> you don't need anything, boy. Do you need him, Kathy? Of course, I. Don't look at me. Talk to him. I、uh, I I don't need you, John. No, I. No, 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 no. I thought that was all behind me. Why the fuck did you put this in? Why? I don't want to remember this. This. It. It. I. It. I. I don't. 